All right, Dad, what have you been struggling with your bunker play in general right now? Hitting it fat or thinning it. So either like leaving it in the bunker yes. or knocking it 20, 30 yards over the back? And losing the ball, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> terrible. Right, okay, we're going to get that sorted today using this simple drill. Okay, so how this is going to work, we're going to talk through how you set up to a bunker shot and then what simple drill you can use before you go out for a round, if you're really struggling out the bunkers, a little bit of a go-to drill on how you contact the sand, because many people's concepts, Dad, and I think you were sort of, um, maybe sort of not aware of this, or aware of it, or not aware of it enough, were we don't want to hit the ball on the bunker. I'll repeat that again, we don't want to hit the ball. Nope. We want the sand to cushion the ball onto the green. That is the concept we're working to. Okay, so, Nice simple routine this, Dad. Bear in mind, this first part you couldn't do in a competition because we're going to lay that club on the ground. Good. So now it opens up, doesn't it? You can see how that club's got quite a way open there. It is. Now, if you were in a competition, all you'd do is just, just press it on the side and, and, and go through that way. I want you to bring it back to square, so go halfway between what you just opened it to and perfect. Now just take your grip as if it was normal. So... The club, if you hold it up there, is open to you, isn't it? It is. You can sort of see that here is open to you, but actually your grip is neutral relative to you. It is. Right, okay, just I want to make you aware of why that's really important. This is this helps you glide that club through the sand. So just, just hit a few shots away for us, Dad. Just, just no ball there, but just hit through the sand. Okay, look how it's created a little bit of a, a circle divot. Now, I just want you to bring that golf club back to square. So if you're hitting a a full shot, which is sort of the pitfall I think many of us fall into. You're now exposing the leading edge and we should see a little bit of difference down at the ground there of how that club interacts. Okay, look how much steeper that divot was and moving into that sand. Did it, did it feel different? Very different, digging. Yeah, digging and in. I think when, do you know what I think the hardest thing is? We all see the pros make this shot look so easy. Yeah. We all hit it so hard, but it goes nowhere. And that's simply because we're not orientating that club correctly through the sand. We want it to glide, not dig. Yes. That's where we're trying to yeah. work with this. Yeah. Okay, so first point is that we're trying to hold this golf club better. So that club face is feeling a little bit open relative to you, but your grip is nice and neutral. It's a nice new glove, that. It is. I wonder where you got that from. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now ball position. I want you to feel that ball position is a club head inside your left heel. Right? Yep. Where does that feel relative to you? Up, down. It feels probably slightly further back. Than back in your stance. Yeah. You used to have it a bit yes. too far forward. Yes. Okay, so yeah. we don't want it back. We don't want it too far forward. There's a nice balance in this. We want to be sort of working into the yeah. sand, but cushioning the sand. Okay, so now what I want you to do is just take your stance just wider than you have a driver and dig those feet in for a bit of stability. Good. Now we're going to sit down. Let those hands just go with you. Good. And then we're going to go weight left. So that is our setup. Feels a bit ridiculous. Feels very strange. I don't you know think that. people watching that right now, it looks too ridiculous. You look, <laughs> you probably feel ridiculous. I've been tortured. <laughs> but you, you now look like you can hit a good bunker shot. Okay. So the importance of lowering your hands, Dad, is because I think... Can, if, I, can I come up? Yeah, you can relax, <laughs> okay. don't we? <laughs> if you sort of looked at that there, it feels like your face is pointing ridiculously out to the right, whereas you lower your hands, you get the loft pointing more back to the target. Yes. So that's why yeah. it, it, it's... It's really important to get that. So, go on, summarise those points for us to set up. I'm going to give you a good lie as well. Give me a good lie. Okay, summarise those set up points. Club face open, but not too open. Yeah, so you just lay it on the ground and then yep. sort of bring it halfway yep. between open and back to square. Club inside your left. Yep. Sit way down. Yep. Hands down. Weight forward. Okay, fab. And feel like it's been tortured. Oh, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is, before we get into the drill, I want you just to hit three shots away. Let's see how the ball reacts. Let's see what works. Okay. And then we might need to talk about a bit of technique. We might not. We okay. might just start to react a lot better. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so before we move into the drill, Dad, I just want to just talk through a bit of technique because a few of those were a bit heavy with the body. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to beep that out. <laughs> just move to your right a little bit there, Dad. If you just, just, just stand just here. I want to talk to you and to sort of the viewers here about sort of the technique. So what you were trying to do there was almost sort of just like hit it with your body. Whereas a bunker shot and any shot really, but more importantly the bunker shot, we want the club to be swinging through that sand 
with some speed because we need speed and we want a lot of speed in here to be able to pop it up and get it up into the air. So I want you to think about this as your technique. I, I get a lot of people take shots like this is once you're into that setup, it just makes some swings where you feel like you stay quite flat footed. It shouldn't feel like we're releasing it like a normal full shot. It should feel more this way as opposed to like this and that's sort of more where... That's what, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, and, and that's why you've been either fatting it or you've been catching it like you'd hit a fairway bunker shot and you're hitting it sort of 20, 30 yards yeah. over, the, over the green. Okay, so what I want you to really think about here is, okay, if I put sand on my golf club, can I throw the sand over my shoulder, okay? And then can I come down and point the loft back at me? Right. So that's a lot different to this. It is. So if I hit one away there, just like this, it would be more in that space. So yeah. I put a lot of speed into that, but the ball's just gone up. Yes. It's not yeah. gone more forward than it's, it's gone up. Okay, so that's a really nice, simple sort of, I think, expression and, and thought process. So in order to help us do that, if I grab two alignment sticks, and this is a great drill, and you can see on a close-up here, everybody, what we're doing. So we're placing one alignment stick down behind your ball, and then the next one, roughly around a ball behind that, in the ground. So what I want you to think about here is, Dad, and everybody else, we're gonna hit a few practice shots up this line of, can I contact this back line first, okay? and glide through. We want to sort of process that. We want to make a little bit of a circular divot through this, starting from there. that back line. Okay, so it should feel very much more this way. And right. we should stay, feel like we stay quite flat-footed because that's going to help that club swing as opposed to your body swinging. Okay, good. So it's almost like the other concept, Dad, of like, if I, if I held my butt of the club at a fixed point, I'm getting it to swing. Whereas if I'm muscling my body... I'm muscling the body, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't want that. So, no. okay, no. really focus. And this is a great drill because you're working on the point at which you're trying to contact the sand without having to hit a ton of golf balls. Ready. Okay, that's a little bit behind there. And you look at your pattern a little bit behind. That's why you're struggling to get it out and go a distance, but also why you're gonna get a few thin sometimes. That's it. Up and through. Good, better. And just take a step back, Dad, just do one more for us back here. That's it. So remember, it should really feel, relax those hands low, this aspect. Not like you'd hit a normal full shot would be yeah. sort of that release. Yeah. We want it to be more that, that release. release. Good. Keep that foot down. One more for me. I didn't like that as much. So really concentrate on keeping that right foot down. Good. So that might feel flat footed to you. Yeah. But like if I got you to hit shots away. I'm still in the bulk round way yeah, behind. Yeah, I mean you're still a little bit behind. Yeah. Okay, we can we can work on that, and that's why that drill is really good. But if you hit sh foot shot, if you hit shots, I'm word that there. If you hit shots where you get your feet together, the club would swing more, wouldn't it? Yes. If you hit shots like this, you'd have to move a little bit more. So what I'm trying to get you have this feeling of you got a solid base, but you're actually letting this club swing. Okay. This is what it should feel like, and it. And I, I, I hate using this term, but it should feel a bit scoopy. Yeah. The only time I'd ever say that in the golf swing, <laughs> but it should feel a little bit that way. Okay, so you're going to work up and down the line. It's a really nice drill to start working your contact. And you've easily seen that your habit is a little bit sort of maybe... A club behind. A club behind. Yeah. Why you'd hit it thin and why you'd hit it fat. So what I, what I ask you to do, if, if we were doing some more practice here, you would repeat that same process until you got three in a row yes. where you contacted this line. Probably if I move myself forward more... Or get your weight less well, more. Well, but also, well, it's... I'll be here because I'm here. I'm hitting it here. If I move here, I'm going to hit there more. But forward. also, where was your ball position? Did you get that a check? 
I thought you were right, but well, I wasn't. Your, your habit is having it, as yeah. we've noticed on the videos, a little bit too far back, or yes. then sort of going the opposite way. So it's really being diligent, even on these shots right now, you're getting your ball position right. Okay, I want you to take this one away. I want you to really focus on that technique, on that feeling. So get that set up, good. Right, okay, that's spot on in terms of setup. Okay, keeping flat footed, hit this one away for me. Lovely shot. Right, now how, d describe that shot for us because that was totally different to what you were doing. I felt more glided underneath, Good. but I still did a bit of that. Yeah, but you, you say that, I mean, if we, if we sort of watch that back and put a screenshot there, yeah. your sort of foot was, let's say, your foot was sort of like that. Yeah, rather than like, like that. that. Yeah. So that was a good improvement. Yeah. Did the contact feel better? It felt better, yes. That sounded a proper noise, that as well. That, that, that is what I wanted to hear, okay? Go through your setup again. Make sure it's right. Good, I like it. Much better ball position. Low hands, weight left, let the club swing. Lovely. Now that's playing it soft. Yeah. They're a different class. It is. Okay, do you feel like you can actually get the ball moving forwards now? Yeah. Not just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna thin it and shank it and do all sorts of things okay, with it. Okay, let's even go three in a row. Three in a row, pressure now. So let's just pause though. Just tell people how it felt doing the lines. Did it make you more aware of what you're doing wrong? Oh yes, I'm still gonna practice on that. I'm still behind it, but I'll get this set up right. Get your weight right. Your hands low. I've got a chance of. Uh, got a chance of getting the club yeah. to glide. Like like yeah. just setting up this way. You can work yeah. the club like this. Yeah. If you set up this way... I've got no chance. You're going to work but the club. It's very alien for me to keep my feet down because I want to keep doing that. Yeah, and, and the, like, we know your problem when you do that. Yeah, okay? over the Yeah, top. and, and it, it makes it a lot harder. So yeah. really focus on, as, as hard as it is, feeling flat-footed. Yes. It lets the club swing. Go on, one more for us. Lovely, Dad. They were awesome, then. A lot better. Different noise, yeah. different class. Yeah.